American Samoa, even to this day, has the unique uh, status that when you're born there, you're a U.S. national, you're not a U.S. citizen, unlike other U.S. territories. And the reason for this was that our, uh, I guess our, our forefathers uh, were very hesitant about getting citizenship for fear that their lands and their culture will be taken away once they become U.S. citizens. So to this day, we, we are called the U.S. nationals. Congress has not passed a law to declare us or to make us U.S. citizens. My dad uh, changed our papers, uh, I guess, when I was very young. See, my, the problem is that our culture is that you're given one name. And uh, when you become a chief, then your name changes, and your name is that name that becomes a chief. So my dad was in the Navy, along with many other Samoans, uh, sons of chiefs. And so he had no middle name or last name. He only went by the name any. And in uh, Western culture, if you don't have a last name, it sounds like you're illegitimate or something like, you know. Uh, and so he had to go through the courts to, to, to request that he has a last name. So technically, when he had his first in the service, he had no middle name, no last name. It was just Eddie. So my name, so I, I would get confused myself in school when, when the teacher asked me, what's your first name? It's Eddie. What's your last name? I guess it's Junior. <laughs> so, <laughs> and you know, like Junior Seau, the famous football player? Well, that's because his dad's name was Seau. And so the only other name he takes is Junior. Uh, you know, because our culture, you know, like, does Abraham have a last name? Uh, you know, when you think about Jesus Christ, it means uh, Joshua the Messiah. But his real name is Joshua in Hebrew. He didn't have a last name. Neither did Adam or Methuselah or all these characters in the Bible. So why do you have to have a last name for I think it was a Western European system. Does Elizabeth have a last name? Queen Elizabeth? It's just Queen Elizabeth. <laughs> Out of respect for my culture, I felt that I uh, was given a chieftain name, and I should honor it uh, by using the my chieftain name, Faleo Mamaenga. Because at home, that's all I've known as is Faleo Mamaenga. Uh, and, and it's just Faleo Mamaenga. Any is just a, uh, just an incidental name to it, but uh, when people address me or by way in, in the formal settings, uh, when you sit among chiefs and all of this, you, you are following my period.